Oh, Danny. No. <laughs> Fallen. Oh, what? Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh. Oh, there's another one. That was such a, was such a jump oh. scare. <laughs> Hey awesome friends, I am Awesome Danny, and these, oh, wrong side, and these are the Kiwi Ears Quartet. I do want to thank um, Shenzhen Audio for sending these out for review. They didn't tell me what to say, or else I wouldn't be doing the review, right? So these are a hybrid IM. They come in at $109. Uh, you get two dynamic drivers and two balanced armatures per side and they also have tuning switches i actually ended up using them in the down up position and i kind of just kept them there after i found the signature i enjoyed the most put it there left it there didn't have a reason to keep messing with it it basically added a little bit more on the upper mids without adding too much bass overall these are a warm set maybe slight v-shape all you audio nerds know what i'm talking about but i am mostly going to focus on the gaming aspect of these because these are my favorite gaming gaming ims now i use these whenever i'm doing any type of pvp shooter type gaming now they also work for immersive gaming but not as well as some other sets that i recently had here but again these are my favorite pvp shooting type game sets and they also play music well very well actually so it was easy to just keep these on for my entire day whatever i was doing gaming video editing gaming listening to music gaming just sitting here you know like destiny 2 just sitting in orbit while staring at my screen, not knowing what to do with my life. These were on. Great set. So what do you get in the box for $109? You get three sets of ear tips. Not one, not two, but three. Small, medium, and large. Three different types of ear tips. And you get a case. Uh, it's a nice case. Kind of like a little hard shell with a zipper. It does its job. A cable, which I actually really like this cable. It's just a plain, simple black cable, but the feel of it, it's very soft, very easy to use, manage, doesn't tangle easily at all, and it just feels great. So it was comfortable, and I had no issues with it whatsoever. And then you get the IMs themselves, which are gorgeous, by the way in person they just look amazing they're those little purple swirls coming through in the darker resin it's just awesome it has the kiwi ears logo on both it would be cool if one of them had it and the other one had something else or if it had a different type of logo something a little bit more minimalistic because uh i don't know just having it on both makes it weird to me at least you know it's just like kiwi ears kiwi ears it's like i don't know i'm nitpicking all right so Let's go over the sound a little bit so you guys kind of get an idea. Just a quick overview of the sound. Sub bass extends well, decent rumble. Um, it has a good amount of it. Again, it is a warmer set, so that emphasis um, progresses through the mid bass and a little bit into the lower mids, kind of. Some might consider it muddy, but I had no trouble. Um, again, multiple driver setup, so. I had no trouble keeping things separated, uh, distinguishing different audio cues, and then just music in general, even like busier tracks. Like it does metal very well. Like I love these for a lot of metal. I don't listen to a lot of metal, but there's been a few metal tracks and a few metal albums I've been dipping my toes into. And these did a really great job. Just like the drum impacts, you know, good slam. And then for example, like in Monochrome by Baby Metal, it's just like all of those drums at the beginning, it's just do 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 and you can hear them and feel them. It's just like, you know, there's these two right here and then there's a couple more further up and then further out. And then it's just like, and then you just feel all that. You hear all that. It's great. And that's an, one of its strengths. The imaging just, it, it throws sounds around 
very well. And that helped it in gaming because obviously you want to know where your opponents are, know the audio cues and where they're positioned. Now going into the mids, a little bit more lush, rich, fuller sound, and then going into the upper mids, that's where you get some of that intensity. Treble though, this is my one, yeah, I think it's just my only gripe with it, in music at least. The treble, there was a, a peak in the, I believe in the air. Um, overall, treble's not very even, and then that little peak in the air just makes it sound a little splashy, just a bit. And some things might come through a little bit piercing because of it. Not enough for me not to enjoy it because I actually really like this set. I had it on nonstop for like the first week I when I received it. So that's basically it for music. Let's get into the gaming stuff. I tested in Valorant, Destiny 2. I did some Baldur's Gate, which is not competitive or PvP. And then in Destiny 2, I did every type of activity. So I did PvP, solo stuff, group stuff, PvE, you know, competitive, casual stuff, whatever. I did all of it. So overall, this is my favorite gaming set. I can use it for everything. It is very well-rounded, very versatile. It can do it all. So it was very easy to just, like I said, keep these on, go about my day. All right. So going over actual just pvp stuff i'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for when things started getting hectic there was still good separation there's a lot of you know different audio cues that i keep an ear out for in the middle of all the mayhem and i didn't feel like i lost out on a, on any of them at all like there was even with the extra warrant so there's a good amount of thickness a lot of bass here so usually that ends up clouding a lot of other stuff, but they were able to throw audio cues out as well while still keeping all the explosions and gunshots and everything going on in the chaos. I can still, you know, hey, this is happening over here. This is happening over there. Stuff like that. I was still able to, you know, hear call outs, audio cue call outs in the game and call outs from, uh, from voice chat from my friends. Or teammates Im uh, imaging is pretty precise i got more uh like not only sense of direction but also depth and positioning which is very big because if i can hear where somebody's coming from that doesn't do a whole lot other than just tell me to be you know ready in this direction but when it gives me a little bit more depth and positioning also height it is very different and that lets me plan out more it's like and for the engagement, will I have an advantage here? I'm at a disadvantage. Can I engage? Do I reposition? All that stuff. So I did a very good job of doing that for me. Soundstage is wetter than average. Um, IEMs usually don't have very much soundstage, but that's why you should try to go for imaging because it's more important for gaming, but it still had enough to give me that depth, like I mentioned before. So very good. And in gaming, this is where how I had a complaint about them with music. It's actually beneficial in gaming. That little bit of extra trouble helps further define a lot of the little details. So there's more definition and outline to sounds instead of them being softer and hazier. They're better defined and a lot more clear. So added clarity there. So that's it. Kiwi Ears Quartet, $109 for my favorite gaming I am. They do music well too. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description uh, below. Unaffiliated, of course. Thank you, Shenzhen Audio, for sending this out for review. I'm excited to try out more of the Kiwi Ears stuff. I hear a lot of good stuff about the Kiwi Ears, mostly the orchestra light. For gaming so i feel like this is flying under the radar it's less than half the price and it does a great job i will compare these to the orchestra light once i get those but these are good if you want to save some money and still get good performance remember in gaming it is very easy to hit ceiling so like while gear can help change the experience it's not going to affect you know 
more than what the game has to offer it's it can extract more than what the game is giving it but anyways thank you patrons for keeping the channel running and keeping sunny and well fed and that's it until next time i am awesome danny and you stay awesome friends bye